Welcome to our announcement spotlight series. I'm Jody Tropiano, the head of content for health, and I'm joined by Amit Garg, CEO and co-founder of High Labs, who has some exciting news to share with us today. Amit, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Jody. All right, so let's kick it off. First, if you can share a little bit of an overview with our audience of High Labs and the key problems that your company is looking to address within the healthcare sector. Yeah, so health, High Labs is a healthcare data analytics company with a focus on uh, solving the dirty data problem. And, and we, we feel that's how we are contributing towards uh, a transformation in healthcare. Well, that's a, a pretty big problem. So what led you to focus on data quality? So um, my co-founder, Dr. Neil Butala and I, when we started this company 10 years ago from the campus of Yale University, at that time, we were focusing on the population health management related use cases, uh, such as predicting who's going to get readmitted, who's going to get sicker in the future. But then we soon realized um, that no matter what kind of models uh, in machine learning you write, if you have uh, the data which is going into those models um, uh, which and, and that data has errors, uh, you are not going to get the, the outcome that you want. So it's very much like garbage in, garbage out. So we pivoted towards the upstream use case, which is how do we use machine learning and AI to solve this data quality problem? And there's been a lot of chatter about AI and where it can potentially make inroads with data quality. So why do you think AI is uniquely suited to solve some of these challenges? Yeah, so in, in healthcare, um, the, the, there's a lot of complexity um, uh, around this subject matter. And, and data errors, um, ideally humans are best suited to solve this problem because it requires so much of knowledge uh, around this domain. Uh, but that approach is not scalable. So AI um, can mimic a subject matter expert um, uh, fixing this data error problem, right? Um, and, and now AI with generative AI can also do reasoning. Traditionally, AI used to be looking at the historical patterns and, and predicting the, the future, but now there is the re reasoning element as, as well. And focusing on payers in particular, why has High Labs technology been so transformational for them? Yeah, so um, we are, our AI technology um, mimicked uh, subject matter experts to solve some of the use cases for payers. So for example, um, provider directories. In other words, provider directory is all data behind that link that says find a doctor on uh, any health insurer's website. And, um, but those um, uh, directories are plagued, plagued with errors. Right? We did a research uh, with the University of Colorado that was published in, in, in JAMA um, that 80% of those uh, records uh, have inconsistencies among, um, across the pairs and 50% of those records as per CMS surveys, uh, they're incorrect. Um, so our technology, um, uh, mimicked subject matter experts, but, but it's scaled, right? Uh, in other words, um, the technology scans through like hundreds of thousands of sources, um, and both external and internal to the health peers, and try to um, fix this, this data error problem. And similar to that, we have expanded our platform for other use cases around EMR data, value-based care data, and, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Some of those statistics are pretty alarming. I didn't know those myself. Um, so what's the market response been to High Labs technologies? And can you share a little bit more about success stories you've been having? Sure. So today we serve uh, four out of the top 10 health insurers uh, in the country. And uh, we also have uh, several um, regional uh, health plans as, as our customers. Um, for uh, one of the uh, national health plans, we, across all of their um, close to 30 markets, we are currently um, uh, analyzing these provider directories at scale and then also automatically fixing those errors. Um, there, when we started, their accuracy score was almost half of what where we uh, got them. So today their accuracy rate is close to 95%. And when we started, it was somewhere uh, uh, around you know, uh, 50s. 
And uh, before you leave, anything else that you'd want to share with our audience? Sure. So um, we are fortunate that um, not just our customers, but the, the investment community is also seeing value in our solution. Uh, we uh, recently closed uh, a Series B round of $39 million. And uh, we are going to use most of these funds in, um, in uh, research and development uh, and our go-to-market strategy. So it's very excited about that. Big congratulations. That's very um, big in this current market that we're in. So congrats to you and the team. And I know you have some big problems that you're looking to solve. So we wish you the most success on your journey to clean the data in our system. And thank you for joining me, Amit. Thanks, Julie. I appreciate it.